Hey, what's up, guys? Today I've got a little product here called Mend It. Um, <laughs> mend It as good as new. Uh, Mendit.com or mend-it.com. Uh, it's basically supposed to be a sort of glue to help melt your plastics back together. Now I know some people like to use super glue uh, to um, get your plastics that are ripped up attached back together. I've tried that before. The problem is it hardens up and it makes the plastic really um, friable, breakable. Doesn't doesn't really work as well as I'd like. So I heard good things about Mend It. I'm going to give it a shot today. The idea with it is it doesn't just glue it together. It actually kind of melts the plastic back together. Um, this is the half ounce or the 15 milliliter container right here. I think it was around eight dollars online. Um, they were also super nice and they sent me a little sample container right here. So I'll try to use the sample container first. Uh, the idea is I have a bunch of frogs here as you can see. I'd like to get uh, mended back together. These are the Jean LaRue topwater frogs. I love these guys. I have lots of them. catch lots of fish on them. Problem is the, the fish tears them up but also just hooking them when I do a Texas rig style hook right through here and back. It rips them up pretty bad. As you can see right there totally ripped up, Doesn't it's not weedless anymore, weeds get caught right there. Also right in the back, right there. So I'm going to try some Mend It, we'll see how it works. Okay, that should hold it up. Let's get a little bit of this, and we'll just apply it right in the center here. Yeah, this plastic just got torn up by bass hitting it and by a big um, hooks I've been using on it. I think that should be enough. And I'll just press it together. A little more here at the top. It's a nice even coating all around. Really can't see if there's any changes happening already. Mm -hmm. She does kind of look like it might be sort of melding back together. It is sticking together. Glad to see that. Just putting some pressure on the outside here. And the instructions say press the repair together, set it on a flat surface, and after a few minutes it's good as new. So go ahead and leave that right here. And I'll also try to mend one of my favorite uh, drop shot minnows, is a panic minnow here. Looks like it's in good condition except at the back. See that hole? It's torn pretty bad. Put a few drops in the center. Let's press that together. It's kind of an awkward angle to press it together. Put that down too. Might be a little too generous, but I'll add a little more. I mean, awesome. And let's tackle another frog while we're at it. Feel free to fast forward here if you want to see how it works. It's going to keep filming while I keep repairing these frogs. Alright, it's been several minutes. Actually more like 10 minutes. Let's see how these did. I went ahead and pretty much used it on all the different soft plastics here. All the different Jean LaRue frogs. First take a look at this panic minnow. So this seam right here was what was weak. So um, looks like it actually definitely did sort of melt it together. It was a pretty awkward one to melt. As you can tell, it's a little off kilter there. I'll give it though. It, it did do a little bit of glue action or melting on it. Not super impressed, but it's a difficult joint. So let's check out this frog. This was the original frog you guys saw me melt together. I put a lot at this front end here. And that seems to be holding, remember I could split it all the way open. It's holding pretty well, and it's still nice and pliable, unlike the results I got with super glue. So that seems to be pretty good. Take a look at some of the other frogs here. This one I did a lot in the very front tip. And I'm going to give this, I'm going to just try to rip it, let's see. Oh, that's good, look at that. Totally melted together, I really like that. I'm not ripping it apart. That's great because this entire front area was splitting. Let me check that with this other one too. Wow, same. I didn't put much down here though. I'll add some more there. 
but right there, that's great. Pretty impressed with this mended stuff. It's, it leaves the plastic feeling like pliable, soft plastic, not hardened up like super glue, and it literally does seem to melt the edges back together. Um, here's another one I did. This is a uh, seismic frog, another toad that I like to use. I did a lot here in the front because it was pretty torn up. And yeah, seems to have done the trick. Yeah, I like it. Very impressed. So hey guys, this is uh, Mendit. Uh, it's a type of some sort of chemical that smells pretty bad. Use it in good ventilation. Or wear a mask or something, but it does seem to get this stuff fixed back together. Um, if you're out on the lake, and you need to have you know, you got to have that plastic fixed up. You don't want to try to use the old lighter trick, which I hate. As you can see, some of the plastics here, I've tried to melt back together and it just didn't work. Um, this mended stuff seems to be the way to go. All right. Later.